after immediately after the surgery okay well I always want to mention this because my mom always tells me the first thing I mentioned after I woke up from the surgery which is like two minutes after they wheeled me out of the operating room was that I yelled at her for my CD player so. I had to sit in the waiting room for like the first surgery went for like eight hours and you know you're just pacing the floor you're waiting to see if the doctor's coming to tell you that everything goes everything went well because like as a mother you get scared you're terrified because you don't know what's happening while they're in the operating room but I would just sit there and listen to some music to calm my nerve and then I would go and eat every so often you know to make me feel better and during the second surgery it took longer than the first one so I was kind of paranoid I think that one took like over eight hours the second one but when I when Dr. Howard came to explain everything to me I felt much better I was relieved that everything went well I personally found it fun to be able to like be babied again so it was like having a butler and maid service so if I needed something I could just get the bell I need water please and the remote so I can change the channel thank you and then they would just get it for me and it was the life I just had to lay in bed all day long and I miss those days I might have surgery again just so I can relive it one of the toughest things that I had to conquer with the surgery was pretty much just preparing myself for the surgery do your research you have to know what you're going getting yourself into rather than having it one big surprise when you go into the surgery room um, my advice is to stay positive throughout the whole thing even though you're in tons of pain and you're always on medication and it's hard but you have the support of friends and family and everyone here at Sick Kids that helps you so in that sense it's reassuring that everything will get better and no matter what happens and no matter how much pain you're in it will get better and it'll benefit you later on in life. Uh, the worst thing about being in the hospital was lying on that bed doing nothing. That was the worst part because I couldn't, couldn't get up when I wanted to and I couldn't move and just everything in me and the drugs, yeah, that was pretty funny. So the, the good thing about it was being taken care of so I didn't have to do anything. I could complain as much as I wanted. So It was a week of pampering. Yeah, a week of pampering for me. How fast I got out of there was actually a surprise and just like how friendly the doctors and the nurses works I didn't think they would be that friendly because I know I wouldn't if I was getting up and dealing with all these patients but they were actually pretty friendly and good to talk to. When you're in the hospital the nurses kind of push you like every day like they're really nice but I mean they want you to recover quickly because after the surgery like all you feel like doing is just lying in bed and sleeping and not doing anything but they encourage you to get up and to walk and like each day like I'd have to walk like down the hall and like I'd go further and further each time and like she'd come with me and like I didn't want to do it I kept wanting to go back because like you're really dizzy and you don't feel well and you're really sore and you just don't want to be doing that you know